Hello, Bill here from Warzone Morlock. This video is to showcase my uh, growing Admech army that I'm building up as our campaign in the, uh, in the Warzone Morlock intensifies. Um, first, I'd like to thank everyone who's watched our videos and games so far, particularly those who have subscribed. It really means a lot to us, uh, and we hope uh, what we're doing is, is ticking a few boxes for the community because we really enjoyed uh, making the videos and particularly the cinematics and the strong narrative theme that sort of runs throughout those games. We feel like it's a, there's a bit of a void out there in terms of 40k bat reps, uh, where they tend to be just one-off games where people are invested in the rules and uh, the game being played as opposed to the, the story that, that should feel like a game of Warhammer. So thank you to everyone who's, who's commented and followed us, particularly Robert out in Texas. Big shout out to you, my friend. Um, yeah, so this is my Admech army, uh, led by the sinister tech priest Dominus Balon Alpha. I'm going to have a little look at him now. So here we go, this is Balon Alpha, he's my tech priest Dominus. He's armed with the uh, Omnisire Axe, the Volkite Charger, the basic loadout for the um, tech priest Dominus there. Um, I've gone for the, the yellow colour scheme, as you can see it's, it's a favourite of mine, I painted the Imperial Fist Army. A while ago a Horus Heresy one which I've since uh, sold on but I love the colour scheme and the way that the yellow um, is offset by the blue I just think works quite well and with a, an urban base it just sort of frames the model so here's my HQ and as you may or may not know from the uh, campaign that we're running he is actually a treacherous swine and is an agent of chaos and is bringing uh, chaos to the Morlock system um, but the rest of the, uh, the Admech army are completely unaware of his actions and in particular the Iron Priestess, as I'll show you uh, soon, is completely unaware and has been fed misinformation which has led to the initial civil war between the Void Stalkers, Admech and Sons of Alterian. So keep an eye on him because he's, uh, he's a treacherous one that one. Okay here we have the Iron Priestess herself. She is the effectively the uh, matriarch of House Morlock and the Morlock system as it's a system that's uh, ruled by the knights as opposed to the inhabitant Admech or Space Marine chapter, the Void Stalkers. Uh, it's my favourite model in the army, it's the one I bought first because I'm absolutely in love with the kit. Um, I've put a lot of effort into it and I've obviously um, magnetised some bits and bobs so arms come off so Nick that one's for you do you remember when that threw your repulsive through the wall yeah I remember it well <laughs> also the Gatling cannon magnetized and magnetized the waist as well just for you know moving it to and from Warhammer World and Nick's dad so yeah so she's a beast um, she almost died the last game we didn't quite uh, make it Nick he survived. she survived with one wound Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, she's a monster. And here we have the latest addition to uh, House Morlock. It is um, the Iron Priestess's son, an heir to the throne, goes by the name of Divine Judgment. A young and arrogant knight who takes perhaps too much pleasure in burning the populace of worlds into compliance. He's a somewhat of a wayward character. He's an angry, angry man with a point to prove and he has a secret task relating to House Morlock's past which may or may not include the Father of Filth who I'm sure you've seen on the channel is a Nurgle Renegade Knight so they have a secret past and a bit of a beef so we'll see what happens in, in the following uh, Warzone Morlock games to show you what I've done it's a standard armour for a Knight Acheron, the Forge Trial Kit but the uh, Flamestorm Cannon is a monster and a truly huge uh, chain fist arm, whatever it is, monstrous. Um, done some of the usual blue OSL, a couple of little sort of flame marks on the helmet there just to give it a bit of a flare. On the leg it's got the Imperial Insignia and a couple of um, symbols on the front there god knows what they mean but i've gone for the um the tagmata transfer sheet from the mechanicum 
uh, Horace Heresy line because they're just fantastic transfers. Um, I'm sure I'll weave it into the background somehow. I'll just show you the uh, detail work on the the gun there if you can zoom in. Never mind. Yeah, so that is uh, Divine Judgment, the latest edition. Okay, the next unit is the Castellan robots with a Data Smith, which I think are absolute monsters for any Admech army, and there are probably more to include. We've got the Phosphor Blaster on the top, but I've gone for the Castellan Fists, just because I think a lot of the uh, mechanic and stuff is quite long range in terms of shooting. Um, and I, I, to be honest, I quite like the, the look of robots that are gonna go and, and tear it up. I did go for the head swap because I honestly I can't stand the uh, the original heads. So the heads I've gone for, uh, I think they're Cromlech. Uh, they're two resin heads to come as a pair, as do the models. So I just think they look a lot better. It's basically it looks like the lid's been taken off and it's just their raw cybernetics underneath. Uh, the usual battle damage is done just with a sponge and some brown paint really. Um, but they are very powerful in game. I'll just show you the data smith there. Bit of a beast. I mean, that's an, another cool model. Uh, plasma weaponry, and basically keeps them or buffs the uh, the robots there. Okay, on to the next unit. Okay, I'll do these together. Um, you've got um, the Vanguard, Skatari Vanguard models there, which is one of the main reasons why I didn't have mech armies because the infantry models are just amazing. I nearly pulled the trigger on them when I was doing Horus Heresy, but never quite got round to it and obviously with 8th I wanted to stick with 8th so uh, I started this Agmec army based on the Knights and those infantry models which I think are fantastic I do have another 10 but they are not finished yet and I have two um, Tech Priest Indian series which fulfill roles such as keeping the Knights alive basically um, but they're not painted yet and I'm going to do a video on how I achieve the yellow if anyone's interested if not I won't bother but you know let me know and just the two units at the back are the Dune Crawlers, only the Dune Crawlers, Neutron Lasers are the way to go apparently. Very powerful, long range, backfield sort of units. They've got the Tagmata transfer there. I haven't done the transfers on the other one yet, but two of them for some uh, long range firepower there. Absolutely fantastic models again, very powerful and provide me with a lot of fire support on my backfield. And I'll just show you the last unit. Iron Strider with a twin last cannon, just basically to stop anything deep striking into my backfield and plus it came in the get started box. I have seen armies that are rocking 6 to 10 of these and I, I think they look fantastic, they're just like a mechanical cavalry which I think is a, a, a real sort of steampunky idea. Um, and this was the, the test scheme for my for my yellow. So I tested it on just engine casing here, which uh, both it's showing up that well, but it's, it's a really nice sort of mustard yellow built from a very dark brown base, which I think gives it that sort of dark sinister feel. And they're really fast as well, so they're great for grabbing, obviously, uh, I'm no tactician, but I've read and I've heard and I've tried the tactic of using them to grab last minute objectives or area denial for you know enemy scouts or Nick likes to use his reavers so I like to put uh, this bad boy down and stop him coming anywhere near me. So that's the army, It's um, I built it around 2000 points originally but with the uh, Divine Judgment's uh, arrival I'm not sure how many points they are at the moment, I'm sure there's been an update in the chapter approved book which I'm just going through now um, but it's um, one of my favorite things to look at in terms of the aesthetics I think the models are designed in such a, a very unique way apart from the helmets on the uh, castle and robots but apart from that a fantastic range and especially the knights and I'm gonna get more knights because I want a third option for an army of pure knights even though it's cheesy and they're probably gonna destroy everything who cares, it'll look cool and it'll be thematic. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any hints or tips for me, leave them in the comments. Or if you want to see anything else, give me a shout. Uh, cheers, thanks for watching.